So you've got some footage in DaVinci Resolve that you either want to speed up or slow down. I've got some footage here that's been recorded in slow motion at four times the speed. Now if I go to my media pool by exposing it here and just check the clip info, you can see that this has been baked in at the camera at 30 frames a second. Now I've already color graded this footage so if I drag another copy of it in I end up with an uncolor graded version which is fine but what I'm going to do is select it and press delete only because I want to copy this with control C move the playhead along press control V and we've made a copy on our timeline now I want to slow this down by 50% so if I right click on it and go to retime controls it then brings up a drop down box if I expand the drop down box and go to change speed we will put it at 50% now if I play this back you can see that it does a good job but again it's just playing frame after frame after frame now there is an option in DaVinci Resolve to make this a little bit better if you come up here to your inspector and then go to retime and scaling we can use the retime process and we have three options now the first option I'm going to use is optical flow and it might be in the preview that it doesn't quite process it although it's doing a good job at the moment my GPU is not being hammered so if I just stop that we can see that we just have some image artifacts here so maybe optical flow is not the best scenario for this footage I'm asking DaVinci Resolve to do quite a bit because I have all this detailed grass and trees and the girl is moving in front of the trees so I'm going to stick with optical flow at the moment I'm going to put the motion estimation to enhanced better and I'm going to put the resize filter to smoother and this is going to hammer my GPU so there we go I'm going to render these and show you the different versions for the retime process what I want to do now is speed this up twice the speed so I'm going to click on my clip control C to copy move the playhead along control V and then just put it somewhere logical and if you can't see your retime controls just go to right click and go to retime controls and then we want this to be not the original speed but twice as fast at 200% now for the retime and scaling I'm just going to switch that off because we have sped this up and I want to add a bit of motion blur to some of the faster moving parts like her arms and her feet. This was filmed at 120 frames per second slow motion baked down into the camera to just under 30 frames so at 120 frames shutter speed we're not really getting any of that uh, 1 over 80 shutter speed kind of motion blur and what we can do is if we go to the color tab make sure we are in clip here not timeline because we only want to affect this one clip we've got selected and I like to not have the clip showing so just click on clips let's try and make this as big as we can and then we're looking for a specific effect so click on effects here and then in the search bar type in motion and we want motion blur so pop that on the node and you can see here it's kind of added a bit of motion blur on some of the faster moving areas of the image so that's fine now if we go back to the edit page let's just see what that looks like might not show up too much on the preview might have to render this out again I want to bring this back to normal speed so I'm going to click on my 200% clip here control C to copy control V to paste put it somewhere where it makes sense click on my retime controls drop it down change speed 400% and then let's just see what that looks like okay that's normal speed and then I'm just going to go back to the color tab and I'm going to see where we've got a bit of movement and because this is now 
even faster moving across the field of view. I'm just going to put the motion blur all the way up to 100% just to give it that, dare I say, cinematic feel. But again, you can play with this just to make it look a bit more natural. We don't want it to just look like sped up video. We want to give it that kind of cinematic feel. And I think that is job done. So I'm going to render this out and then I'm going to bring the footage back in, especially the slowed down uh, section. And I'll show you the uh, retime process options. So what I've done is I've rendered out the original footage with the different retime and scaling options. Remember we had optical flow, frame, blend and nearest. So I've rendered these out and you can see optical flow. If we just review this, we have got some image artifacts between the body and the arm. Again, we're asking DaVinci Resolve to process quite a lot of information here with the girl moving in front of the grass and the fine detail in the grass. So in this scenario, optical flow might not work the best for you. Just in between the legs there and then where she goes across detail. Just here, look, you can see some image artifacts and just here you can see some image artifacts. The nearest if we just play that back at normal speed, it's not done a bad job actually. We're running at 29.97 frames a second and that does look pretty smooth. If we just check the blend option, again, it's not done a bad job. Let's just see if we've got any image artifacts. Usually where there is contrasty areas. When we get to about here, you can see just a bit of like double imaging. Again, if I just scrub through it, you can see each, every other frame is kind of blended. So we do get a kind of ghost image. But then if we look at nearest frame, that looks pretty smooth really isn't that much to be concerned about. So in this example, I would go for nearest, maybe frame blend as a second option. And in this scenario with the detail in the background and the subject moving across it, I probably wouldn't use optical flow. Now with speeding the slow motion footage up, this footage is sped up twice as fast. So this is half the normal speed of real life with no motion blur and then just after we go to normal speed and you can see that there really isn't much motion blur let me just scrub through manually where the hand comes right into the field of view we're still kind of maintaining that 120 shutter speed which is really quite fast let me just play this uh, back normal speed. So that's no motion blur on the, and that's the normal speed, no motion blur. And now rendered out with motion blur, let's just see what it looks like. I will put the actual footage on the end of the video uh, without scrubbing through it on DaVinci Resolve. We can see it's very subtle, but look, we have a lot more motion blur on the moving, faster moving parts of the image. Seems to be some kind of fly going across the screen there as well. And then if we go to the slow motion that has sped up, been sped up to normal life, you can see that's a lot more motion blurred that you would naturally get with both your eye and with a 180 degree rule shutter speed, which says that if we're recording this at 30 frames a second, then you would have a 60, uh, one over 60 shutter speed. 25 frames a second we would have a 50 uh, 1 over 50 shutter speed and you can see that probably looks a lot more natural and cinematic that's the slow motion with the motion blur that's normal speed with the motion blur and i'll obviously put the actual rendered out videos on the end and i will leave you with the actual footage from this video so i hope you enjoyed and i will see you next time